As we celebrate Black History Month, it is only fitting that we honor the amazing women who are shattering barriers and making a positive impact in their communities. Gliding on in now is the owner of the first black female-owned skating school who's creating skaters from the roots up. It's Akashia Hill. So cool. Thank you for coming in. Now, Thank you for it looks like you've got on roller skates, yes. but we all know. They're the actually guards. They're My guards. Are underneath. <laughs> Amazing. Competitive figure skater, coach. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you are making space now for all of the skaters to enjoy the sport. So I use the acronym AIR, like the air we breathe, yeah. A for affordability and accessibility. Yeah. At Brampton Hill Skating Academy, we're working really hard with the city of Brampton mm -hmm. to um, reverse and revise a policy that was created in the 90s that allows only a small group, a legacy group, to get affordable ice costs. So we're hoping to revise it so that all sport, sport group users will get that affordable ice cost. Okay. I, and I for inclusion. Um, we believe that everyone should be involved in the sport and try it. Yeah. So no matter their race, ethnicity, their age, gender, or ableness. We have kids at our school that are autistic mm -hmm. and many um, various ethnicities like West Africa, Southeast Asia, the Caribbean. So yeah. we welcome everyone. And then R for representation. Yeah. It's imperative in our school that we encourage BIPOC kids to join and remain in the sport. Yeah. So, you know, at my school, we have an all BIPOC coaching team, and that's where we really, like, shine, because it's the first uh, figure skating school in all of Canada to do something like that. That is incredible. <laughs> and I can't imagine how... Well, I can't imagine how difficult it is to be sort of one of very few in a yeah. certain space. And you started skating when you were very young, like two yes, years old. Two years old, yes. How did you find coming up in the skating world, especially the competitive skating world, being one of just a handful of uh, black athletes? Uh, it was definitely uh, challenging. Um, it had its moments. Um, you know, as an athlete, you're already so into your you know, trying to be perfect, perfectionist on yes. the ice and be perfect all the time and trying to stick and nail these jumps. Yeah. So you put a lot of pressure on yourself. I put a lot of pressure on myself and that would cause me to, you know, slip up. But I will tell you that um, in my, as a coach, I faced more of an impact in terms of seeing things that were like not kosher. Yeah. Um, you know, I was at a school in the Peel region area where I witnessed a lot of abuse towards kids, um, misogyny, racism, and I decided to take a stand on that. Mm -hmm. And in the end, I was ter terminated in a dehumanizing way. Uh -oh. And, um, you know, I, you're supposed to feel protected, you know, especially when you're trying to look out for the safety of kids. Yeah. And it's mandated to do so with safe sport. Mm -hmm. And it's really um, sad that I was not protected. It is tough. So it's interesting that you felt more of that impact as a coach. Because yes. it's almost like they weren't they weren't holding back anymore. Yeah. You're a grown up. You're excellent at what you're doing. You've done yeah. something a lot of people haven't. And now let's get you. Exactly. Like you know? as an athlete, you're you know sheltered by your parents yeah. and the coaches. But when you become a coach, it's like everything is thrown at you, and yeah. you're just hearing really what people are actually truly saying about kids and. They're just like, wow, this is, this is sad sometimes. There is something very special about being one of the few, and by special I mean difficult and hard, <laughs> <laughs> because I was a baton twirler, yes. um, and competitively, and there's certain hair regulations. You have to have the slicked back bun yes. for 4C hair that's tough. Yes. You have to have a certain body, like when there was me and my sister and one other girl in our baton corps that were black, and so the makeup didn't fit with our yeah. face. And so my mom made a point of being there for every competition and every parade, and she would make sure our hair and our edges were down and slicked. Yes. And you know, the bun was like bunning, yes. you know? <laughs> and, the, and the makeup matched our face. Um, and it's sort of all these things that you have to sort of persevere against. Yes. And when you get through to the other side, I think what's beautiful is that you've decided that you're going to make a safe space for any of the BIPOC kids that want to come up in skating because they should be part of that yes. world. They should have all the opportunities. Exactly. What do you recommend um, BIPOC kids look to to try skating? Like, how, 
What do you think they should do to try and get into it? Yeah, so I definitely think that parents should not shy away from um, putting their kids in the sport, even if they don't see the representation right away. Yeah. Join a local community center where, you know, they have a facility. They normally have a uh, skating school or even the rec program. Get them involved in skating. Yeah. And then I also suggest that they don't go out and they spend tons of money on equipment. You can get secondhand in mint condition equipment off of like Facebook Marketplace yeah. or Kijiji. You can invest in your kid's future if you join in the sport. It can take you in so many different paths. You know, you learn creativity, discipline, hard work, work ethic. Um, and it opens so many doors. You can be an actor, an actress, because you're learning to move your body and skating. We're always talking about body awareness, so you can be a foot doctor. There's so many yeah. doors that you can open um, up with figure skating. Yes. And I encourage all the kids that no matter what, if you don't see someone that looks like you, don't worry. We will find each other, but be unapologetically you when you're on that ice. Love it, Akashia. Powerful stuff.